Hey, this is Russ. By the time you see this, it's probably be Saturday. I'm recording this early for you guys because I'm out in California at this point. <laughs> yeah, pre-recorded. So I just wanted to say a couple of things uh, concerning my trip heading towards California. Now, not exactly e-bike related, but uh, many of us are, are seniors and some of us have some issues with our mobility and things. So you might be wondering how I'm able to, to travel to California with a bad knee. Well, the knee is hurting a little bit today, uh, and it's been hurting for the last uh, couple of weeks. Actually, it was the very first uh, video, uh, video that I made where I took out the Magicycle commuter bike earlier this year. And as you know, the commuter bike was a um, class one e-bike, which means there's no throttle. So you have to pedal in order to get the bike to move. So I pedaled, I don't remember what it was, 10 to 12 miles, something like that. And then by the time I got home, my legs felt like jelly. <laughs> My knee was hurting. Yeah, and uh, eventually my, my legs came back in terms of uh, strength, but the knee continued to hurt. And to this day, it's still hurting. So that's one issue, all right? The, the other issue is my, uh, my right foot is hurting now too. And I don't know why, but for the last couple of weeks, it's just started to hurt a little more, a little bit more, and now it's really hurting really bad. There's a, there's a little bone that, uh, <laughs> that's right on the outer edge of your foot. Okay, if you think, imagine where your ankle bone is, okay? Just a little bit forward of the ankle bone towards the toes, if you go forward on there. And right on the edge of your foot, you can feel like a little bone that sticks out uh, towards the heel, not on the heel, but forward by maybe a couple inches. You'll feel that there's a little bump there, okay? That's where it's hurting, <laughs> all right? So I don't know what that is. I talked to my friend who, who's an x-ray technician and he, I said, if I had this x-ray, would, would they be able to tell what it is? And he says, you know, it's very hard to even find any issues with that. And he says, chances are they'll never be able to x-ray it to see anything. <laughs> and, and realistically, he says, what can they really do for it? And, and that's true. Other than they'll, they'll tell you, stay off of your foot, uh, keep the pressure off of it. Hopefully in a couple of weeks, things will go down and maybe you'll be better. So as you know, I'm heading out, or by the time you see this video, I'm already out in California. So how am I going to get around? Okay, and you know that I'm, I'm heading to uh, Vegas as well. Uh, we're going to spend a couple of days there. <laughs> we're hitting up the buffets and going to a couple of shows. I am not gambling or anything like that, just kind of taking it easy out there. But uh, there's a lot of walking on the Strip. <laughs> there's a lot of walking to get from place to place. Or even within the hotels, there's a lot of walking. So how am I going to travel? And the answer is I am taking my mobility scooter with me. Yeah, I still have a scooter. Now, you know that I did a video for a mobility scooter company, um, but I have another one that was my original scooter that I've had for many, many years now, and that's made by Pride Mobility. And uh, it's a portable scooter. So the, the drivetrain comes off of the, the platform itself, and then the chair comes off and, and the handlebar folds down. So I can take this. Now, how do you get this on the airplane? Well, uh, if you have a handicap, you can call the handicap uh, line for your airline and tell them that you're bringing a mobility scooter with you. Or if you have a wheelchair, you can bring that, but you have to let them know you're taking it. So I called United Airlines because that's who I'm flying with. And I told them I'm taking my scooter and I've done this many times before. So what they're going to ask you is they're going to ask you um, how heavy is your scooter? Uh, do you know the physical size of it? How wide is it? How long is it? Then they'll ask you things like, uh, what type of battery <laughs> does the scooter have? Because they don't want to hear you say lithium ion, right? So um, luckily, I have a lead acid battery, a sealed lead acid battery, which they accept. Uh, that That's kind of like a car battery, okay? But it's not a wet cell. It's a dry cell. So because of that, uh, they allow my scooter to go on. So what I do is I will scoot from when I get into the uh, terminal of the airport. And of course, in the Chicago area, that would be O'Hare Airport. And I'll scoot from there all the way to the gate, all right? And then the, uh, the, the agent there will see my scooter and they'll, they'll usually have a notation there saying that, okay, uh, he is bringing a scooter. And then uh, I will literally scoot that all the way up until I get to the airplane, all right? So that that little corridor that they have you walk down to get to the plane, um, I will scoot it up to that point and then the agents will take it from there and they will hand carry it down uh, the little uh, uh, steps to the air, actual airplane, then they will load it in there. So when I'm done with the airplane, I will walk to the outside of the plane, right again, where you usually deplane and get off and then you walk down that corridor again. 
they will bring that scooter to me right to that spot. And usually you'll see wheelchairs are there and people who have ordered people to push them on a wheelchair, those guys will be sitting there waiting. So my scooter usually comes out last. Um, so <laughs> getting off the plane early doesn't mean anything to me because I gotta wait anyway. And once I have that scooter, I can scoot back to the uh, to the outside and then hail a taxi or whatever you, you're gonna you're gonna take, whether it's an Uber or whether you have family or friends picking you up. So that's how I deal with it, with all the handicap issues that I have. All right. So even though you know I'm able to walk, um, you know, if it wasn't for the foot and the, and, the, and the knee having issues now, I'm able to walk, you know, fairly decently, but not perfectly. When, when I'm going on trips, I, I can't walk the distance that a lot of these trips require me to do. So I still use the mobility scooter. So I just wanted to let you know that that's how I deal with it when I go on trips. So again, uh, this is pre-recorded. By the time you see this on Saturday, I am out in California. Um, I have recorded videos for this past week now, but I don't have anything for the next week. I'm hoping that maybe I can do some videos while I'm out in California and show you some of the things that I'm doing while I'm out there or some of the some of the things we do in Vegas. <laughs> OK, but like I said, again, I don't gamble. I, I don't I don't do anything. The best I do is a slot machine. And that's usually like a nickel slot. But since they take out the handle and they took out all the coins, I don't give them even a, I don't even give them five cents. <laughs> yeah, I don't gamble at all. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Stay tuned. Hopefully, we have some videos for you for next week. If you don't see anything coming in from me, it's only because maybe uh, I was too tied up and I just couldn't do it. But I'll do my best to get videos out. And if it is, it's usually Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. But again, I will be in, in Vegas um, um, dealing things. And I don't think I have access to upload uh, any of the videos uh, during that. So... If I make anything, it'll probably be pre-made a little bit uh, while I'm in California, and then I'll try to upload some stuff for you guys to see for the following week, okay? And then when we get back, I'm going to work hard and heavy and try to get some of these reviews out. I'm hoping that the weather becomes better by the time I get back home, <laughs> that I can finally do some of these uh, reviews that are long overdue. I, I'm, I'm sorry to the manufacturers having to wait so long, but this is Chicago, all right? This is what we deal with, so... Anyways, hope you guys are doing well. I will talk to you next time. Hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I'll talk to you guys next time.